Welcome to Cheesecake Chronicles, where we explore everything about this beloved dessert, from its rich history to its delicious varieties. I'm, and today we're traveling back in time to ancient Greece to discover where it all began. Let's delve into the origins of cheesecake and how it captivated the taste buds of the ancients. Cheesecake is thought to have originated on the Greek island of Samos, with archaeological digs dating these early forms of cheesecake back to 2000 BC. Ancient Greeks used simple ingredients like cheese, honey, and wheat to make a cake that was a popular treat at athletic events and a part of their diet. The ancient Greeks considered their version of cheesecake or placus to be a source of energy, and it was quite simple. When the Romans conquered Greece, they adapted the recipe, incorporating eggs and crushed cheese, and baked it under a hot brick, which they then called libum. For this recipe, we'll need fresh cheese. Think of something similar to ricotta, honey, and wheat flour. We will mix these ingredients together and cook them slowly in a clay dish. The Romans embraced cheesecake with great enthusiasm. They experimented by adding crushed nuts and flavored it with bay leaves. Cheesecakes were often included in religious offerings to the gods. The Roman politician Marcus Cato even wrote about its recipe in his agricultural writings. Here is our Greek-style cheesecake, simple yet nutritious. The Romans would later bake this concoction, giving it a texture closer to what we recognize today as cheesecake. Delicious. It's amazing to taste a piece of history. Though it's quite different from the creamy cheesecakes we adore today, you can still sense how this simple dish could have inspired so many variations. That's it for today's journey into the past. In our next episode, we'll see how cheesecake traveled across Europe and transformed further. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss any of our sweet explorations. Thanks for watching Cheesecake Chronicles and see you next time.